This is a great little radio for $15 at Radio Shack. It's uh, analog. There we go. Come on. Doesn't want to focus. But it's... Uh, there's a box. It's funny. It requires two AA batteries not included. I brought a couple of batteries with me. I went to pop the cover on it and somebody already installed batteries in it. So, okay. Got a set of batteries with it. But uh, anyways, thing that makes this radio really great besides, you know, the, the sound is decent, is it's a really inexpensive way to have an RF sniffer in your car if, uh, say, you're getting interference on 2 meters, on HF, uh, things like that. <clears throat> I'll give you a little example. The car is running right now. I will shut the car off. And I put it on AM and I tune it to a station but there's pretty much nothing there that's the key now I've noticed when I go across the dial you'll pick up different things sometimes sometimes better sometimes worse but the, the internal antenna in here you don't need this this is just for FM only and even with FM, it works sometimes pretty good without the antenna extended. But anyways, watch me start up the car and listen. You hear all that junk? I think the antenna is towards the top of the radio. I haven't actually popped the cover on it to see. Let's turn that radio off. And put it back up here. So I can start the radio. Turn this off, turn the car off. Just turn it on the first click. So that that comes on. Turn it on the next one. Okay, here's something really interesting. This thing will go nuts over a cell phone. This one is not on the network, but the one that I have is. I'll put this near the radio and listen to this noise. This is giving off a lot of RFI. Okay. This. This is in airplane mode, by the way. Watch when I just turn it on.
turn it off. This works great also. Let me start up the car, it's getting kind of hot in here. This also works really great in the engine compartment. I'll sniff around some more. Underneath the dash on the driver's side. Let's go over here and see what's going on. Passenger side near the center thing here. Volume's all the way up. Something around here is really making this thing go nuts. I don't know if the ECU is underneath this seat. Uh, I do know that there is a two meter bandpass filter under that, but there's nothing really there. Let's see if this is doing it. This is probably doing it. This is the plug in for the GPS. Still here is it over here. I'm going to unplug it, see what happens. Wow, it's magic. I'll plug it back in. GPS is up. That's the GPS making all that noise. Pretty cool. Great tool, 15 bucks. And uh, it picks up AM and FM pretty well too.